Today, I will share a new Insta filter with you, which creates the teal and orange look, which is commonly used in movies. To create this look, I have used a couple of adjustment layers, which at the end allows you to fine tune and perfect it for the image you're working with. Let's go through them one by one. We start by removing the blues using a channel mixer. In the channel mixer, the blues are replaced by green, which creates a tealish look. However, this effect can be quite strong. I have applied a blend range to it, so it only affects the brighter areas. Before giving more color to the image, I flatten it by using a simple curves adjustment in screen blend mode. With the help of blend ranges, we can confine it to the darker areas. Next, to make the image more dynamic, I have used another curves adjustment, but this time in linear light blend mode with a low opacity. The linear light blend mode can be very strong on the highlights, even with a low opacity. So as you guessed, I have adjusted its blend range so the brighter areas are not affected that much. Now time to change the color. I've used a selective color adjustment, but before showing details let me share the blend range. I removed it from the bright areas as I didn't want to touch the whites. In the selective color adjustment, basically I have adjusted the cyan and the magenta in the main colors, creating the basic teal orange look. I personally prefer to have contrasty images. So to increase the contrast, I have added a color balance adjustment where the teal and orange colors will become more dominant. To apply this adjustment to give contrast to the image, I use it in multiply blend mode with half opacity. The final adjustment is a gradient adjustment which adds the teal and orange color to the image. I use this again in linear blend mode with a low opacity of around 15%. To make it blend better, I also change the fill percentage to around 50%, which helps keeping the brighter colors more neutral. When the adjustments are grouped, you can control the total effect of these adjustments by changing the opacity of the group or change the blend range of the group, like for example lowering its effect on the brighter areas. Let's have a look at another image. I will apply the Insta macro, which can be downloaded from the description below. The result is pretty amazing, but a bit too strong in my opinion. As the effect is layered with different adjustment layers, we can easily adjust and fine tune it. For example, we can remove the contrast by hiding the color balance. Another cool way to fine tune this effect is adding a selective color adjustment on top of the image. By adjusting the red and the yellow mainly, we can fine tune the effect and have the orange color pop up. Because the image got a bit too contrasty, I'm going to change the blend range of the color balance which is in multiply. When we invert the applied blend range, we get a much nicer look for this image. Also, the selective color adjustment creates quite a bit of contrast. If I lower its opacity, we get a much nicer end result. Let's have a look at the before. And this is the after. Pretty awesome. I think the Insta filter made the image definitely much more cinematic. Here is the final example. When I apply the macro to this image, we get a very reddish skin tone. But using the trick I used in the previous image, which was adding a selective color adjustment above the image, we can fine tune the final result quite easily. The changes I'm doing will be mainly in the red and yellow color. As you see, by adjusting the sliders, we get a lot of variance for this effect and it really depends on what you're going for. I think this looks pretty good. Let me group the adjustment so we can quickly disable and enable them. Here is the before and here is the after. Not bad at all. If you like the colors, but you don't like the extra contrast added by the adjustments, you can change the blend mode of the group to color. Pretty cool. For fun, let me apply the macro again. If I turn off the selective color adjustment, it looks actually not so bad. Let me group the added layers and change the blend mode to color again to make the colors even stronger. Pretty nice. I hope you liked this video. 
and don't forget to download the Insta filter macros I shared in the description. Have fun with it and see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.